Hello, hello, what's going on YouTube? It's Master Aquatics, and I'm bringing you guys another video. It's about that time. It's about that time for the big move. And as I told you guys previously, I'm so nervous about this. But uh, just to spoil it for you guys, everything went fine. But I'm going to show you guys the whole process. So if you think about doing this, you can try it. And I can't guarantee the same results. Everybody's angelfish pair is going to react differently to being moved to a different tank while they have babies present in the tank that they are currently in. Um, some angelfish pair will be more stressed out than others, but I'm, I can still try to show you guys what I did and maybe it will help with the situation that you're in with your angelfish pair. So if you haven't guessed it already, I'm setting up the 29 gallon tank right now. So what I did was, as you can see, I got two sponge filters in there. I also got a slate and I got some Anubius tied to a rock, which was previously in my 75 gallon tank. And those two sponge filters have been pre-seasoned. They were in my 20 gallon and in my 29 gallon tank. And I had them running in those two tanks for a long time. So I know they have a lot of good beneficial bacteria in the tank. So I threw those in there and I put some, people say this doesn't work, but I do it anyways. I don't know why, but I do it. I get water in an established tank and I use that water and fill up the new tank about a quarter, about 25%. And then I add new water on top of that. So I always feel safer when I do that. People say there's no beneficial bacteria in water column. You know, that might be true. Um, actually, a lot of people have corrected me on a, pre on a video and said that there is no beneficial bacteria. But, you know, I just do what makes me feel comfortable. Um, that's how I've been doing it. So that's what's been working for me. Everybody does things differently in the fish hobby. So who are you guys to judge, okay? Um... <laughs> But anyway, so this is what the 29 gallon tank looks like after it's been set up. Um, like I said previously, the Anubius plant is in there and this is a key item for this tank. Okay, this is a breeding tank. This is a specific tank for a breeding angelfish pair. And a breeding pair of angelfish um, their best friend are Anubius plants. Okay, you always want to include that in a breeding tank if you can. Um, I did this because my plan was as soon as I get these babies with the turkey basters, I was going to take the turkey baster, go to the 29 gallon tank, and drop the babies on top of the Anubius leaves. Because I figured that's the best spot to put these guys at. Plus, you know, naturally in the wild, angelfish like to take care of their babies on the leaves of plants, such as the one that you see there. Now, you can get a turkey baster anywhere, pretty much. You can get the turkey baster at Walmart or any grocery store, really. Um, the angelfish pair didn't really put too much of a fight. Um, I'm not sure why. I was really expecting them to... Um, be a little bit more feisty the male there try to try to get out but I managed to get both of them in one try which was you know really great but I was still really nervous about doing this you know because I didn't know how they were going to react again my first time but uh, I put them in and immediately I noticed that you know they were stressed out um, as you can see, the male was freaking out. The female didn't seem like she was freaking out too much at first. Um, I don't think she realizes that she's in a new tank. Um, later on, she does get a little bit crazy and start, you know, swimming all over the place. But I had to ignore that and go straight to the babies here. So, got my turkey baster here. And my plan was to get all of them in a single try. But, unfortunately, that's not how it worked out for me. Um, I managed to get most of them, but while I was getting out that batch right there, um, oh yeah, and on top of that, I totally missed the Anubias plant, so they fell to the bottom of the fish tank, which is not 
too bad because the bottom of the fish tank was pretty clean but still and like I said I managed to not get all of them in one attempt so I had to go back into the fish tank and get the rest and even then there was still a lot more um, there was a few left on the leaves and then there was some more um, you know scattered across of the substrate and I was stressing out even more because the babies landed on the substrate and I didn't want them you know getting killed beneath the substrate or getting attached to the rocks and you know getting fungus on them or anything but you know they were fine but as far as the parents go they were like stunned and they were breathing heavy and they were just swimming all over the place especially the male I put the babies in there and and I put the babies right in front of him and at first he didn't seem to care about the babies and this is when I started freaking out because I was like oh man you know I was really expecting them to go straight to the babies and you know start taking care of them but no he was swimming erratically breathing really hard and it just looked like he was really stressed and now I was freaking out you know that maybe the water quality wasn't good you know maybe the the nitrogen cycle hasn't really fully taken you know its course yet you know I was just really worried and stressing out and I was like man now I can't you know show you guys you know this video and you know I all, all sorts all sorts of bad things were running through my mind at this point but you know I didn't give up you know I just told myself I'll just give them 30 minutes or, or to an hour and hopefully things get better and that's what happened um, but I had to watch these guys, you know, get all frantic and um, just really just get scared and, and stuff. Um, and as you can see, still at this point, the two piles of fry that I had put in there is clearly like right next to them. And they are not paying any attention to them whatsoever. The female looks like she wants to break out of the aquarium and go back into the 125 gallon tank. But, you know, it just, it took them a while to, to adjust to, I guess, the new water parameters and the, the new lighting, the, the filters and, you know, it just, it just took them some time. So, but I knew right away that I knew after watching them for about 10 minutes that they were going to be fine because if something was wrong with the water quality or anything like that. Um, my angelfish would have, you know, started, you know, swimming sideways. They would have been going to the surface, you know, there would have been clear signs, but it looks like they were just shocked at the fact that, you know, I had moved them away from their fry, um, for a short amount of time. And on top of that, they were out of the water for a few seconds. And I guess they didn't really like that. So, but nonetheless, you know, they were doing great. So I just pretty much just left them alone after I got done filming and getting some shots for you guys. And I didn't feed them, you know, I didn't, you know, I definitely didn't turn off the light though. I, I kept the light on. Um, I've mentioned this in a lot of my previous videos, but whenever you have a pair and there's eggs or fry, you don't ever want to turn off the light. Um, keep the light on um, it, it helps the the pair see what they're doing and also in my experience whenever I turn off the lights on my angelfish pair they always manage to eat their eggs um, so as you can see they they did interact with the babies a little bit and at, at first I thought they were going to to eat them I thought that's what they were doing but no, um, it looks like here they f they seem very relieved that their babies are still here. So this was this this really made me feel good because I was like, yes, they they noticed that their babies are here, um, and they're not f they don't seem like they're freaking out anymore. And uh, it looks like they're really checking up on them to make sure that they're okay. It looks like they're gathering up all the scattered babies and putting them back into the pile, and it just. You know everything was fine and I was just so happy and I was so relieved and I was like yes I did it I did the one thing that I thought was going to ruin everything um, but uh, no man everything's fine um, and then I woke up uh, the next day and 
I freaked out because I, I I checked the spot that I had the piles of fry in and they weren't there. And I was like, oh no, they ate the babies. And then I looked at the Anubia sleeve and what do you know? They had uh, moved all the babies onto the leaf there. And I was like, well, there we go. I knew I knew that's what they were going to do. So it's a good thing I have my Anubia uh, plant in there. So always keep Anubius plants around your angelfish pair. The most important thing ever, 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 ever. <laughs> but yeah. So hopefully um, this helps you guys uh, tremendously. I know that um, this is going to help somebody for sure. So now I have a empty 125 gallon tank and you know what that means i can go get some more angelfish i can get some more fish and i can stock up on uh maybe i can get some different kinds of fish that i've never had before so i might surprise you guys with that um but there's only one way to find out what i'm going to put in my 125 gallon tank um and that is if you subscribe and you keep up with my updates so if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet make sure that you do that it's very important that you do that um just kidding um you don't have to subscribe it's it's really up to you but i mean if you like my videos i mean why not i mean if it helps you why not um also make sure to leave a like on this video every time you leave a like on this video it makes me feel very 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 good um and uh also leave a comment let me know what you guys think of the video um, if you guys have done this before and there's a better method better, better method of doing this in your opinion than what I did, you know, share share with me some constructive criticism. Um, give me some ideas on what I could have done better. I really love it when I reach out to you guys and you guys help me. So, you know, this video is not only to help you guys, but it's also, I guess, to help me too, you know. Um... I also have a gaming video, so if you guys want to check that out, I know I keep telling you guys about my gaming channel, but um, I'm putting some new content on there, so make sure to check it out. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.